Monday, August 27th, second period, Algebra 1. Time for the warm-up quiz. Problem number one. For the solution, 3 plus 6 is 9, and then minus 2 plus 5. 9 minus 2 is 7, plus 5 is 12. Do not do this. Don't do 2 plus 5 before you do everything else. That's going to give you the wrong answer. That's why some of you had 9 minus 7 to get 2. That's not the right answer. Problem number 2. 10 minus 7 is 3. You have to square that to come up with a 9 and multiply it by 2 to get 18. Plus 4 is 22. Problem number 3. For this problem, you must do 6 times 2 to get 12 and 4 times 3 to get 12 first. You cannot do 2 plus 4 at any time in there. So now go left to right to get 13 plus 12 and then your answer is 25. Problem number 4. Everybody had that. It's 100. Last problem. Pick a number from 1 to 10, put your last name on it, and drop it off up here. The winning number today is 9. Quiz review from 8, 24, 12. All right, so with the first one here, we on number 1, you had to do 2 plus 1 to get 3, and then square that to get 9. 9 times 4 is 36, plus 3 is 39. Problem number 2, 5 times 6 is 30, and then 12 divided by 3 is 4. Don't do 6 plus 12. You'll end up with 34. And for this one, you must go to 10 divided by 2 first, to get 5 and then add left to right to get 20. On the fourth one you must do 6 times 2 and 20 divided by 2 first to get 12 and 10. Then go left to right. Don't do 12 minus 10. You have to do 30 minus 12 to get 18 then subtract 10 to get 8. And for number 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. Square that to get 49. On number 6, go to the parentheses to get a 3, square that to get a 9, times 3 is 27, plus 3 is 30. And on 7, you have to go to the parentheses and do multiplication first. Don't do 6 minus 2. Do 2 times 2 to get 4, subtract it from 6, that's a 2, square that, you get 4, times 4 is 16 plus 1 is 17. On number 8 go to the brackets and inside the brackets go to the parentheses to get 4 minus 1 which is 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27 2 plus 27 plus 1 is uh, 30 times 2 is 60 5 plus 60 plus 2 is 67. Number 9, you have to square the 6 to get 36. Then go back and do 4 times 2 and 36 divided by 2 to get 8 and 18. 3 plus 8 is 11 plus 18 is 29. And on number 10, we have 3 minus 2 or a 3 minus 1 to get 2. Squared is 4 times 2 is 8. 16 plus 8 must be done first. That's 24. And then minus 2 is 22. Number 11, you have to square 5 and square 2 to get a 25 and 4. And then do the multiplication first. Don't do 3 minus 6. 4 times 3 is 12 and 6 times 2 is 12. So 25 plus 12, then take 12 away, takes you right back to 25, which is the answer.
And for this one, the least common multiple between 2 and 4 is 4. So this fraction stays the same. But on the other one, we have to do some adjustments. 2 times 4, or 2 times 2 is 4. And then 1 times 2 is 2. Plus 5 is 7. So that's where we get 7 over 4. On 13, the least common multiple is 12. So I had to multiply by 3 here and by 2 there. 3 times 2, or uh, 3 times 3, is 9. And 1 times 2 is 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. So it's 7 over 12. And on 14, the highest number that goes into both is 4. Divide both by 4 to get 9 over 10. And on 15, the highest number again is 4. Divide both by 4 to get 4 over 9. On the extra credit, you had to do 3 times 2 to get 6. But don't do 6 minus 1. Do 5 plus 6 to get 11. Then minus 1, which is 10. And on B, you have to square the 3 to get 9. 1 times 2 is 2. Go left to right to get 17. And square the 4, square the 10 to get 16 and 100. Then go back and do this and then this to get 2 and 5. That's why the answer is 7. B, parentheses to get a 5. Square it to get 25 times 4 is 100. Divide by 4 and get 25. Last one. Square the 6 to get 36. 3 times 4 is 12. And then you'll be adding a 2. Do this first. To get 48 plus 2 is 50. Today's objective continues from adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions. But more specifically today, the learning target will be to multiply and divide fractions. Example number one, multiplying fractions. 3 over 4 times 5 over 8. If you're going to multiply fractions, you have to multiply straight across, left to right. 3 times 5 is 15, and 4 times 8 is 32. There is no number other than 1 that goes into 15 and 32, so that is your final answer. Example number 2 is 4 over 5 times 10 over 6. Again, you can multiply straight across. 4 times 10 is 40, and 5 times 6 is 30. But you can't leave the answer like that because it can be reduced. What number goes into both of them? 10. So in other words, you can cancel zeros. And 4 over 3 is the final answer. Multiply from left to right. Reduce the answer if possible. Let's see how well you can do on this right off the bat with a practice problem. Practice problem number one is 3 over 2 times 4 over 10. Solution to the practice problem, multiply left to right to get 12 over 20. 4 is the highest number that goes into both. So it should be 3 over 5. The bonus problem is 1 over 3 times 9 over 4. For the bonus problem, multiply left to right to get 9 over 12, but you can't leave it like that because 3 goes into both of them. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. Here's another bonus. 5 over 6 times 3 over 10. On the bonus, multiply straight across to get 15 over 60. 15 goes into both numbers evenly. 
1 over 4 should be the answer. Practice number 2 is 1 over 2 times 4 over 3. Solution for the practice, 4 over 6 is what you get from multiplying, but 2 is the highest number that goes into both. Should be 2 over 3. The bonus problem is 5 over 3 times 9 over 10. All right, for the bonus problem, if you multiply straight across left to right, you get 45 over 30. If you don't know that 15 is the highest number that goes into both, then divide them by 5. They both end in either 5 or 0. So if I divide both by 5, then I have 9 over 6. But clearly that's not reduced because 3 still goes into both of them. That's where we get 3 over 2. Example 3 is 4 over 5 times 15 over 10. Before you multiply, see if you can cross-cancel anything. In other words, 4 and 10, what's the highest number that goes into both? 2. So if 2 goes into 4 twice and 2 into 10 five times, I've already simplified a little bit. And then go this way. What number goes into both? So 5 into itself once and into 15 three times. See, so what you really have is 2 over 1 times 3 over 5 now. And then multiply left to right to get 6 over 5. Record. Ex example 4 is 4 over 5 times 20 over 24. That would be a big multiplication to do, so you may want to try to cross-cancel first. What number goes into 4 and 24? 4. 4. 4 goes into itself once, into 24 six times. What number goes into 5 and 20? 5. 5 into itself once, and into 20 four times. So what you really have is 1 over 1 times 4 over 6. Multiply left to right to get 4 over 6, but what number goes into both? 2. two so divide both by 2 to get 2 over 3 for the final answer. Practice problem 3 is 3 over 7 times 21 over 9. For the practice problem, you could cancel out. 3 and 9 to get 1 over 3, and then cancel out 7 and 21 to get 1 and 3, and it comes out to be the same as the last problem for the bonus. 3 over 3 is the same as 1. For the bonus problem, this one is 5 over 4 times 12 over 15. On the bonus problem, you could cancel 5 and 15 to make it 1 and 3. Cancel 4 and 12 to make that 1 is 1 and 3 as well. So 1 over 1 times 3 over 3 is 3 over 3, but that's the same as what? 1. one. Example 5. If I have 6 over 5 divided by uh, 3 over 10, if you're going to divide fractions, you have to keep the first fraction the same, change the multiplication, and then flip the second one, which is 10 over 3. From there, you can multiply straight across or cancel anytime you have to. I'm just going to multiply straight across, which is 60 over 15. 15 goes into both of them and it'll turn out to be 4. Example 6. 4 over 3 divided by... Uh, we need to go back and fix that. Now I've learned a trick last period. I can go to white since my eraser doesn't work and then do this. Ah, there we go. So that'll be 8 over 6. Kind of a large font there or pen thickness. Alright. 
Now we keep 4 over 3, change the multiplication, and then flip 8 over 6 to make it 6 over 8. Now notice you do have some things you can cancel in there. 4 and 8 cancels to 1 and 2, and then you'll have 3 and 6 canceling to 1 and 2. So 1 over 1 times 2 over 2 is 2 over 2, which goes to 1. A answer is 1. Practice problem 5, 1 over 2 divided by 3 over 4. Solution for the practice is to keep the 1 half, change the multiplication, and flip the 3 over 4. When I do that, I can cancel the 2 and the 4 to 1 and 2. The 1 and 3 can't be reduced. So I'm going to have 1 over 1 times 2 over 3. That'll just leave me with 2 over 3. Time for the homework assignment. And it's coming up out of the photo stream right now.